Peggy 18. Hi everybody, Sean Eystone here from Kojima Productions with an exclusive Gamescom 2011 update. Now as you know, everyone here at Kojima Productions is hard at work remastering Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, and Peace Walker for this winter's Metal Gear Solid HD collection coming to both the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. And we've already showed some footage of Peace Walker at this year's E3. So it pleases me today for Gamescom 2011 to show for the first time ever gameplay footage of one of the HD collection's most anticipated titles, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, running in high definition on the PlayStation 3. Let's take a look. All right, so here we are jumping right into it, so to speak. This, of course, being the Halo jump at the beginning of the game. For those unaware, this game introduces Naked Snake, later to be known as Big Boss, and basically serves as the beginning of the Metal Gear Solid saga. Now, as I come gliding down through these trees, you'll see some cool effects, such as light streaming through the canopy, dust, lens flares, and shadows cast on Snake himself as well. And uh, as the game starts, you'll see that I'm able to rotate the camera around Snake, which means that, yes, we are using subsistence as the base for this remastering project. And you'll see that everything looks very nice in HD. All the textures are being up including things in the background, such as these mountains and trees. Uh, as I move forward here, I can crawl into the grass, and you'll see things like leaves falling down, hitting the camera, and every blade of grass just being re-rendered beautifully in HD. No jaggies to be seen here. Now you see there's mushrooms and frogs here, which I could stuff and eat, but I won't because there's no time, so I'm just going to move ahead and climb up this tree and reclaim my pack. <laughs> Alright, so moving on, I can do things like hide behind trees and use my environment for cover as I take enemies out without being seen. This, of course, is a Metal Gear Solid game, so getting through the game without being seen is your number one priority. And to help you do that in Metal Gear Solid 3, you do have a camouflage system. And as you can see here, uh, you can do things like change your face paint, as well as change your uniform, and all these textures have been up so they look very nice in HD. Alright, so as you can see here, I blend into my environment very nicely, which allows me to sneak up on my enemy and take him out without being spotted. Alright, there we go. So here we are on the bridge stage, so I can use my scope here to check out enemies and uh, see what kind of threats lie up ahead. And I can also use it to look for hidden items, such as Ketaton here. And uh, all the hidden items that you're familiar with from Metal Gear Solid 3, if you've played it before, are here, including this hornet's nest as well. So you can relive a lot of fond memories from your first time playing through the game. But for those who haven't played it yet, I actually will choose not to shoot the hornet's nest and will instead put this guy to sleep and move on to the bridge to show you some cool things here and how you can use the environment to bypass your enemies as well. And it also gives me a chance to show off some cool scenery and dust and other effects. Of course, when you think of Metal Gear Solid, you not only think of great stealth, but you also think of great cinematic cutscenes. And Metal Gear Solid 3 has some of the best in the series. And as you can see here, they all look great in high definition. And not only in high definition, but also you'll notice that we're using a super widescreen format, which lets you see more of the action than ever before, and enjoy it in 5.1 channel surround sound. Fans will savor reliving their favorite moments in vivid HD, and those who haven't played MGS3 yet will enjoy learning about the origins of the Metal Gear Saga's most iconic characters. Alright, and finally we come to bosses. Now, as any Metal Gear Solid fan will tell you, memorable boss battles are at the heart of the Metal Gear Solid series. And we put a lot of effort to making sure that they look great in the Metal Gear Solid HD collection. As you can see, every single detail, such as the water effects, fish, bubbles, and of course, the trademark water beating up on the camera when you surface, are all rendered beautifully in HD, and are all up to look great on your big screen television. Ah! 
Okay, so that wraps it up for today's sneak peek. Hope you all enjoyed it. Once again, the Metal Gear Solid HD collection will be coming out this holiday season to both the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. So be sure to keep an eye on our Metal Gear Solid Facebook page for more info, as well as a sneak peek at the final game in the HD collection, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Until then, thank you, and we'll see you soon.